Om Shanti. Now we're going to talk about the 25th of June, Godly Blessing, where Supreme Godfather wants us to become free from obstacles while doing any kind of work, while doing any kind of seva or service for humanity. Or if you're working, working in your organization as a CEO, you're the leader of your group, you're working in any form of NGO or in any other organization. This practice will make your life simpler and easier. So here God says, may you become free from obstacles and remain unshakable by keeping a balance of being detached and loving in a gathering. In a gathering we are talking about. It's not about something solo, but in a gathering. So the father has the largest family of all. Isn't it so? But the larger the family, the more he is detached and loving to all. He is detached from all. No favoritism and still loving to all. Follow the father in the same way while being in a gathering in order to be constantly free from obstacles and stay content. Be just as detached however much service you do. So as much service as you do, be totally detached from the expectations of what you have done. Whether it be in the form of name or fame, whether it be in the form of any physical accomplishments, could be a prize, a present, a gift or anything. No matter how many try to shake you, someone may disturb you from one side and another person from another side. The disturbance could come in the form of somebody is praising you a lot and somebody is demeaning you a lot or insulting you. Perhaps you don't have any facilities. You might not get any facilities. Even if you have done so much of service, people might not give you any kind of gifts or any kind of presents or any kind of accolades. Even if someone insults you, when you remain unshakable even in your thoughts, you will then be said to be a soul who is free from obstacles. That means since you were detached, you didn't have any kind of expectations whether somebody is going to insult you or somebody is going to praise you. You were completely neutral in that kind of feeling where neither the insults nor the praises had any effect. Whether you were given something in return for your service, whether you were not given something in return for your service, it did not affect you. Then you are detached and that's the time you'll get the real respect from others. And that's the love which you'll receive from others. So, God then says, when you remain unshakable, even in your thoughts, you will then be said to be a soul who is free from obstacles. When do obstacles come? When we have desires, when we have wants, and when we don't get them fulfilled after doing a service, then we start complaining, we start blaming, we start having expectations, we have different forms of attitude for different people. Somebody who praises us, we might be very friendly with that person. Somebody who might insult us, we might be very indifferent to that person. And that's where the obstacles come. And especially being in a group and especially being a leader. If you are carrying out the favoritism, somebody is praising you a lot and that person becomes favorite to you in your field of work. And if somebody is gossiping about you and you disdain that person, look down upon that person or you start hating that person or start taking revenge from that person being the boss then that organization is not going to succeed at all then this is not detachment god says for that success to come you have to be detached and at the same time loving how do you do that for that you'll have to come and learn the seven day course and get into the depth of this psychology and this philosophy or godly philosophy well, it is given for free and the Brahma Kumari is called a spiritual university. Once you've done the seven day course, you can understand this for free and apply it in your life and practice it and see the results on your own. With this, Om Shanti.